So today I'm going to do a uh, power block workout. So we're going to just do four exercises, two upper body and two lower body exercises. And the great thing about these two, these four exercises is that uh, it all incorporates your core too. So um, what I want to start with first is first you're going to get a power block and you're going to get something um, that's going to challenge you enough and you're going to be doing squats to start with. Okay, so I like to go a reasonably light to start with so that way we can, um, you know, get through. And we're going to hopefully get around three rounds in the next 10 minutes, all right? So I'm going to start the timer. Okay, I'm going to go for 10 minutes. And then we'll go from there. So I'm going to give you a little bit of time to set up your power block. So get your power block set up to something that you're heavy enough that you can do squats with. Like I said, start light for the first one and then we'll build up over time. All right, so you've got it set up, right? All right, so the first one we're going to do, it's a single arm squat. Okay, you put it on your shoulder, feet hip shoulder width apart, and then you're going to squat down to down to 90 and then come back up to the top. And you're going to do 10 of those. Now, I've already done two, okay? Breathe in as you go down, breathe out as you come up. Four, five, good. And keep track of the knees. Six, keep the weight through the heel so you can see my back. Yeah, not very good going that way. Good, that's better. So now you can see. One more, and that's 10. Okay, now you put it back in the cage, and then you swap to the other arm. Okay, now I'm just giving you a little bit of time to set that up. You ready? And let's go. The other side. Like I said, keep track of your knees. They should be going over your second and third toe. Three, four, keeping that back nice and straight, okay? You wanna make sure that you're sort of sticking your tail out and you imagine there's a plumb line running straight through the body and you keep it up nice and tall. That's nine and that's 10, okay? Okay, so that's your first exercise you're going to do. Now the second one we're going to do, it's called a bent over row. So you're going to need another power block. So get something, I'm going to drop it one, so I'm going to put it into, into the white one. Oh, and by the way, I haven't set these up in there purposely, okay? So what I'm doing is the weight that I'm lifting right now is 25 pounds each one. And I'm just going to Grab both of the blocks up nice and tall. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna unlock your knees and you're gonna bend forward into this position here. And then you're just gonna slowly bring your elbows up towards the sky. Okay, you ready? Got it set up and let's go. Okay, belly button in towards your spine as well. Draw your elbows towards the sky and make sure your shoulder blades are pinching together at the top here. Belly button in, four, five, six, seven. If your shoulders start to shrug, then you stop. It might be too heavy. Nine, one more, 10, good. All right, so put them back in your power blocks, back in the racks. All right, the next one you're gonna do is a lunge. Now, first set, I try not to use any weight at all, okay? And it's a back lunge, it looks like this. You're gonna step back, making sure that knee is over the ankle and then you'll step forward again. When you do it front on, now hopefully you'll be able to see me, it's when I step forward, I keep the knee in line with the, the hip and the foot, okay? We're gonna do 10 each side, okay? Now, you notice I went forward, this time we're gonna go backwards only. You ready? Go back, step back, over the heel, and step forward. Okay, that's two, three, four, Five. I like to use my hands forward so imagine I'm running. Yeah? Eight. And I imagine my chest up nice and proud. Yeah? That's halfway. Eleven. Twelve. Good. Keeping the chest up nice and proud. You want to avoid this. Okay? Up nice and proud. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Now your counting is out. Make sure you complete the 20. 18, 19, and 20. Good. Okay, so now we're gonna move back onto the upper body. And the last one is a, uh, a bench press. Now you'll need a Swiss ball. Now I know I didn't mention that at the beginning, 
but I'm hoping you saw in the, uh, the screen that you're gonna need one of these. Now, if you don't have a, a Swiss ball, you can use a bench as well, or you can use straight on the floor, it's up to you. But like I said, I want you to make it light enough just for your first set. I'm putting it into black, just so that way it's nice and light to start with, okay? And I'm gonna lay down on my back, making sure my shoulder's on the widest part of the ball, and I'm lifting my glutes up, my belly button's in, and I'm gonna bring it down, sort of like a 45 degrees from my shoulders, and then I bring it back up to the top. You'll notice my elbows don't go lower than the shoulders, yeah? All right, you ready? Let's begin. We're gonna do 10. One, two, feel the stretch to your chest as you go down. Three, shoulder blades together. Four, five, six, squeezing through the heels. Seven, squeezing through your butt cheeks. Eight, nine, one more, and 10. Good, all right, bring that down to your chest. Okay, you can sit back up, stand back up, rack it back in the racks, okay. There are your four exercises. So now what we're gonna do is speed it up a little bit, okay? So if you need to get a drink of water, pause the video now, and then come back, and then we're ready to go. Go for it. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is gonna go back to those squats. Put it a little heavier than what you had before. I'm putting it into green, okay? Green is about 45 pounds. I bring it out on my shoulders, and we're gonna squat. You ready? Let's go. One. Two, three, four. Make sure your back is nice and straight. Five, six, seven, eight. You don't have to keep moving around like I'm doing. It's just for you. And 10, good. Put it back in the rack. Swap hands. Let's go the other side. You ready? And go. One, two, three. Four, five, you notice my breathing. Six, I breathe in, hold my breath. Seven, and then exhale as I come up. I pull my tummy in, last one, and relax. Okay, put it back in the rack. All right, now we're gonna go to bent over rows again. So adjust your weights accordingly. I'm gonna put it into purple, which is 35 pounds. And we're going to do those bent over rows again. All right. So, like I said, I'll go sideways so you can see. You're going to bend over and row. Okay, let's go. Two, three, four, five, six. Keep your head up. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. All right, rack those up again. Okay. Our next ones are lunges. So I like adding a little bit of weight here. I'm actually gonna put it into the black, but I do find people doing it less. Okay, so you can actually put in just the, not the blocks, the black, you wanna make it a little lighter. So same deal again, nice and tall. These down the side here. You ready, you're gonna step back and step forward. Remember, that front knee doesn't go over the toe. Uh, Swiss ball's just behind me. Knock it out of the way. That's four. And we're doing 10. Five. Remember, don't lean forward. Okay, keep the chest up proud. Seven. Eight. And I'm really pushing off that front foot. Nine. As opposed to my back foot. I'm trying to drive through that front foot because that's what's going to activate my glutes. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, okay. Now you start, I imagine you're starting to feel the pinch. 17, 18, 19, good, one more. And 20, good. All right, rack those back up again. Now we're gonna go onto the bench press. So like I said, I'm gonna make it heavy enough that with those bent over rows I did, they're the ones I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put it back in that 35, uh, 35 pound each block. And then I'm gonna get my Swiss ball. You know, just be a little bit careful with it. Remember, Swiss balls will move. So you gotta make sure that it doesn't fall from underneath you. Now, same thing again. You got them up the top, your shoulders are on the widest part of the ball. You ready? Let's go, that's 10. 
One, two, three. No deeper than the shoulders. Four, making sure the shoulder blades come together. Six, breathe out as you come up. Seven, remember the elbows are going down towards your hips. Nine, one more. And 10, good. All right, bring it down to your chest. Wheel back on the ball until you're resting on your, sh your, hit, your, sh your, uh, uh, your quads there. And then you're gonna bring it up. Oh, I'm already feeling a bit tired. Okay, good. All right, so we've done two sets. That is 10 minutes right there. Okay, so if you wanna repeat it again, you can repeat it again. If you're not sure of your form, then make sure you watch the videos and get clear on how you're supposed to do those four. Remember, single arm squats, uh, bent over rows, back lunges, and bench press. All right, thanks for watching. Good luck.